What's going on, guys? Your boy Terabai Reacts here, and we are back with another episode of Evangelion. Man, I've been waiting for a very long time. What I want you guys to know is Evangelion is in good hands because we're about to finish Code Geass. Once Code Geass is finished, Evangelion will move up to Super Reaction. So don't worry, guys. I know I haven't been consistently uploading Evangelion, but it will be the super reaction that takes um, the place of Code Geass once I finish with Season 2 of Code Geass. So, next week, we're going to start uploading at least 3 or 4 episodes of Evangelion at a time. So, don't worry about it, okay? So, I'm apologizing in advance, okay? Apologizing in advance for not... Um, being consistent with Evangelion, and I've just been doing one episode. If you know the format of the, ch of the channel, I wouldn't have to be explaining this. But if you do know, um, if you do know, then you know how I did from Ippo to Code Geass. I was doing the same thing with Code Geass at first, one episode, maybe sometimes two. But then when I finished with Ippo, Code Geass moved up to super reactions and then um and then we have evangelion so once i finish with code Geass, um then we're gonna do the rest of the stuff maybe some of the movies or 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 whatever but those are all things that that i can do off schedule i don't have to do those on schedule but i still will um do them at some point um right after but Evangelion will move into being the super reaction on the channel along with Attack on Titan. So, thank you guys for watching as always. Remember, the link is down in the description. Let's go see what's going on with the Evangelion, man. I don't want to waste any more time. If you want to see my review for the last episode, go and watch that review of my last upload. It's in the playlist. Go check out the playlist. However you want to view it, okay? Link is down in the description for this reaction. Full reaction uploaded to the google drive and bit shoot hopefully thank you guys for watching as always it's your boy terry by reacts see you guys for the review what's going on guys welcome back for the review um so her name is ritsuke um, had to go back and look for that because I'm pretty sure they've mentioned they mentioned it before. I just never catch on and I just never catch on to her name. Um, Ritsuke because she's there but she's not really there. You know what I'm saying? Like you know she's in the series, but it's 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 weird. <laughs> Anyways, I um uh, just had to go and look up her name because I I'm I'm gonna start to try my hardest to remember these characters' name because you know comments <laughs> anyways um so yeah so we got to learn some more about ritsuke okay which is i never expected them to actually show anything about her and we learn about magi which is the brain behind everything pretty much pretty much the brain of everything <clears throat> that they do um according to the evas and also the protection of the city um, which is these three aspects, um, three different aspects of um, of basically human intelligence or artificial intelligence. Well, um, or the two combined together, if you want to call it that, if you want to put it in, in layman's terms, you know what I'm saying? It's basically human consciousness in a computer, right? So... Um, and it turns out it's, it's Ritsuke's mom. So it was, it was kind of, I liked how they did this episode, um, of, and I, I, this anime does a very good job of showing you things from different perspectives. Now we got to learn more about her as a scientist and also her as the daughter of the person that, you know what I'm saying? That created pretty much everything. I want to just say, let's be specific, the Maki, right? Which is these three different aspects called um, Balthazar, um, Casper, and what is it? Melchior? Melchior, right? So, 
those three aspects make up the Magi, right? So basically, this angel came in. Basically, it was like a, a nanovirus that um, this angel came in was trying to take over the, Ma the Magi system, and they had to figure out a way to to shut it out. So that was that was pretty cool to see her referring to her mom, talking about her mom that created this system and what it really means to her. So she respects her mom as a scientist and is these three aspects re represents three different aspects of her mom, her mom as a woman, her mom as a mother and her mom as what was it again? As a scientist, right? So she respects the scientist side because she's a scientist. She doesn't like her mom very much, and she doesn't like her mom as a woman either. And in the end, that's really what saved them because that part of her is is what she used Casper to save the whole system. And Casper is the aspect that represents her as a woman, right? So I know she's talking all of that and making it seem like she doesn't like her mom, but she obviously loves her mom she loves her mom it's just it's that child parent relationship where sometimes you you need that approval but you're never going to say you want that approval you get what i'm saying like like the situation that happened with shinji like from the get-go it kind of came off like shinji wanted the attention didn't get it so he started to resent his dad and his dad actually gave him some props a couple episodes ago and he was down with it. He don't care if it was indirect or direct. He was down with it. It was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though he didn't jump for joy or anything, you can see the difference in his response, right? So it's kind of like the same thing here. Slight differences, but it's kind of like the same. So I respect that about her that, you know, um, and she went on this journey with Masato. They were basically just testing to see if they could have a better connection with the EVAs if they're naked, which I, I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> but, um, but that was pretty cool to see. Um, this episode was learning about Ritsuke's character, which now I can look forward to her being meaningful to the story because they took time to show an aspect of her. So, And she's the brains. She is the brains. Misato is the brawn. Misato is the brawn that comes up with the with the strategies for battle, for battle. But she is the brains behind the whole, um, the EVA system and all of this other stuff. In, in, in at least that's what I'm saying. Ikari is just the overseer of things. He makes the big decisions. He sits on the throne per se to say, okay. This is what we're going to do, get approval, whatever the situation is. He talks to the higher-ups and stuff like that. So his, so and he, they have a totally different mission. They were talking about Adam, which is, I don't know if it's the firstborn angel, um, the first angel or the first human something. I don't know. I guess they're going to elaborate more on these concepts that they, that they mentioned off slight sometimes. There's going to be, but this angel was pretty particularly interesting because there's so many different types of angels right and this was basically a nanovirus trying to take over the system took over two of the parts of the maggie and they they, they were like down to one second from the for hit to take over the whole thing but she got connected to casper and kind of attacked um, attack the virus through Casper because Casper is kind of like um, I don't know I want to say like it's offline a bit like because they, they they rose it from like underground so they so it's like I don't know if I want to say that the Casper is the fail safe you get what I'm saying just in case some shit like this happens they can always use them because it's like it's the biggest part of the brain you get what I'm saying um, of the of all of Three, all, all three of them. It's like the direct connection to to her mother's brain. So this is definitely interesting, man. And that's what I said about this this anime. This anime is not an anime where you're gonna. It's not a hurrah hurrah, ray ray tay tay. You know what I'm saying? Like all the time. It's just it's really easy going. You just gotta take it as it is. And in in some ways, it's it's good. 
um, as I've said before, this is one of those animes that you want to watch on a weekly basis because you want to digest what happens. You get what I'm saying? In every episode, you want to digest it. You want to say, okay, this is happening right now. So that simple, if, if say two, three episodes from now, the pace starts to pick up, you are not like wondering what, what is going on. You know what I'm saying? So you got to digest it. As it comes. So thank you guys for listening as always, man. It's your boy Terror by Reacts. You are Terror Squad. Remember to subscribe. Remember to leave a like on this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Um, you guys have been unbelievable supporting these videos. Hopefully you can leave a like and leave a comment on this video. Tell me if you agree or disagree with my assessment of this um, episode, episode 13. And I will get back to you, of course, in the comment section. Thank you guys for listening as always. It's your boy. Everybody reacts. Peace.